In this mobile starship Gears of Halo, aka the primordial cum puddle that Metal Gear Rising Revengeance crawled out of, players take on the role of Sam, DARPA's resident Siggy Piggy, on his epic quest to defeat the robotic covenant by utilizing a Tupperware based Evangelion plug suit that overheats like an excite bike made from piping hot hot pockets nobody bothered to blow on every time he actually bothers to utilize his built in bullet time functionality or slides around like M. Bison after scoring a soccer goal and having a bucket of Luberderm dumped over his head. After correctly predicting that a Hillary Clinton presidency would have required collusion with the Russians, how Hillary would eventually have escaped prosecution once her crimes were discovered, and how God will eventually deal with San Francisco the moment he realizes that the yearly wildfires aren't working, Vanquish takes players on a refreshingly competent narrative driven third person shooter that, for a change, is not a barely functional pretentious plagiarism of Joseph Conrad's beloved novella Heart of Darkness disguised as something deep when it's actually just pseudo intellectual wank fuel. Perhaps Vanquish's reason for never falling into that familiar trap is this excellent utilization of set pieces and complete lack of filler. Though at times, this highly distilled blend of cover based shooting and gymnastics can occasionally feel like it's been boiled down beyond the point of sensibility. I mean, why exactly didn't the tank you escorted through heavy enemy attacks just fire off its railgun in the first place? Why do the Russians teleport robots around to attack the colony? when they could just as easily teleport bombs, containers of poisonous gas, or some of that nasty fucking meat jelly those fuckers chased down vodka with instead. And why is it? No matter how hard I try, I can't for the life of me figure out why this Dr. Manhattan knockoff blew a glory hole in the colony wall despite him clearly not having a penis. I can only assume he's just one of those generous knob slobblers who understands the true spirit of Christmas is giving, not receiving hepatitis. But that's really besides the point at this juncture. Assisting our trust fall loving, jazzer size enthusiast who snipes spotlights like their last name was Kennedy on his epic quest to rescue Steve Jobs from the bipedal robotic equivalent of pancreatic cancer by fighting off transsexual metal gears that turn into furious megatrons after you blow their beans off and jamming a shining finger up the butthole of Vaitsev and his totally not gay yet anatomically correct clone of himself sex bots is Elena Ivanova who is just so gosh darn kawaii that even though her pussy lips probably resemble an overturned wheelbarrow load of spoiled pulled pork I'd still fart in her womb so my red hot anal ambergris could infest her soul for all eternity. Directly accompanying Sam is Boo Earns, the grizzled war veteran with a heart of gold and a gigantic pooper scooper for an arm. Perfect for slinging hot dog turds at anyone who points out that he leaves soldiers behind almost as much as the American education system left him behind leading to him losing his arm in a horrific shoulder deep fisting accident in the first place. Luckily, the lemming soldiers who constantly walk directly into enemy fire respawn almost as near endlessly as my sperms when the Cavassier is flowing and the moon is full, honey. Overall, it's true what your mother says. Vanquish really does make Halo look more like Galo. Even though the melee attack button doesn't work when you're overheated, in real life, I and my litany of ex-wives wish I had the same restriction and perhaps most interesting of all, despite all the screaming and bloodshed occurring around Sam, he can always just slide to the end of levels without killing a thing and even when it seems all hope is lost, the game goes out with a bang and a truly happy ending.